What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for a sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, small time behavior, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for a sign of Aquarius. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess 405. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. This is the Oracle card reading for a sign of Aquarius for September of 2022. Um, this could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, and, and Mendhaven uh, charts for additional message or messages. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. Okay, so I received a channeling in as I was meditating on your energy for September of 2022. <clears throat> I heard um, an Aquarius that has been strategically hiding a Leo Fem um, hidden gem. It is about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So uh, an Aquarius, it could, I feel it could be a masculine or femme Aquarius. They're obviously a low vibrational Aquarius, if this resonates. Uh, for a lot of you guys, I feel you know this person. Um, I don't feel you are the low vibrational Aquarius. I feel you might know the other low vibrational Aquarius that's doing this. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But some low, low vibrational Aquarius out in the universe is strategically hiding a Leo femme hidden gem, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates Aquarius. In a huge way. And a Pisces feminine, angry Pisces feminine is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Okay, I heard in a huge way an angry Pisces femme is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So it's about to backfire on this low vibrational Aquarius in a huge way. Um, they strategically have been hiding a hidden gem Leo femme um, it's about to backfire on them, low vibrational Aquarius, and a angry Pisces feminine is about to become significant in some Aquarius' life. I feel that could be a high vibrational or low vibrational Aquarius. That resonates for some kind of angry Pisces feminine energy. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior to Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, I strongly feel you guys are dealing with fire signs. Um, definite hidden gem Leo Femme energy. <clears throat> But you have double fire sign energy, hyena and phoenix energy, both fire sign energies. If you are, they have uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, and heaven, Jupiter, charts. I feel for some, you are dealing with two or two plus fire signs. Because you have double fire sign energy in your animal, animal spirit cards. But you plug it in how it resonates. Aquarius, you also have um, fire sign oracle card energy. A lot of fire sign in here. A lot of fire sign. Number 17 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 17, it could be a possible age of you or somebody, uh, uh, of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 17, sorrow over a loss, beware of great pride, hyena. A very selfish Pisces feminine is about to try to take, 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 take from you. Take from you. You've spoiled this person in a huge way in the past and you're about to seriously regret it. <clears throat> for some, she's a family member. For some, she's a lover. Okay. A very spoiled Pisces feminine energy is about to um, try to take, take, take from you. Um, I heard you spoiled this person in a huge way in the past, but you're about to seriously regret it. For some, she's your lover. Sounds like current lover in the universe. And for some, she is a family member. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. This is your spoiled Pisces femme energy coming in as the hyena, hyena energy. Um, very, uh, you know, hyenas, um, they don't care who they hurt. They just go in very recklessly and... Um, irrationally and impulsively and they just take whatever the hell they want her she's very spoiled and i heard you basically could you basically were basically um 
an enabler to her spoiledness in the past, but um, you're about to seriously regret it if that resonates for you. For one, you're about to be a, a victim of identity theft. For one, you're about to be a victim of identity theft. So hyena energy, um, somebody's about to come in and um, steal your identity, for one. Um, that's terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, it's going to be stopped almost immediately. For one, they are going to take almost everything. For one, it's going to be stopped almost immediately. So it's at least two of you guys about to be victims of, of identity theft, it sounds like. For one, I heard it's going to be stopped almost immediately. So I think you have some kind of identity theft protection or you're about to get it. Or you just have helpful people in the universe that's about to pick up on this or you're about to pick up on this or something. But it's about to be stopped immediately. Um, I feel for some you have some identity theft protection, possibly. Possibly. But for one... Uh, I heard they're going to take almost everything. So very spoiled, um, selfish, take, 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 um, not copacetic energy here. Um, that's terrible. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, I hope this person goes to prison. And I'm just serious. Phoenix. A very high vibrational Taurus masculine and a very high vibrational Leo feminine is about to rise like the phoenix rising from the ashes and a very high vibrational Aquarius. This very high vibrational Aquarius has been really, really working on themselves, a lot of self-care and work, and they're about to rise in a huge way. Well, congratulations, Aquarius. So for one of you guys, you're a high vibrational Aquarius. You've been doing a lot of healing, shadow work on feeling, and you've really been doing a lot of self-care and work on yourself. You're about to rise like a phoenix rising from the ashes, sir, ma'am. You can be masculine or femme. You plug it in how it resonates. That's for one of you guys. For one, it's a Leo femme. And for one, it's a Taurus masculine. So for one of you guys, it's a high vibrational Aquarius masculine or femme. For one, it's a Leo feminine. For one, it's a Taurus masculine. Um, you could be happy for the Leo femme or the Taurus masculine, or you could not be happy for them. Um, but how that resonates. But for at least for one of you guys, it's you, Aquarius. So you plug it in how it resonates. Phoenix rising from the ashes, baby. I love the Phoenix rising from the ashes. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful energy. I love it. Let's see if we hear anything else. One Aquarius is about to cut a lot of people off, low vibrational people off. For one, a workplace affair has taught them a hard lesson. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to cut a lot of people off. Um, it sounds like low, low vibrational people off that um, basically don't mean well for you. And for one of you, a workplace affair has taught you a hard lesson. So some kind of hard lesson um, in a workplace affair that's caused you or is about to make you call, or about to cause you to um, cut people off in your life. So you're about to be the phoenix rising from the ashes, Aquarius, because you've learned the hard lesson of this workplace affair in some shape, form, or fashion, and um, it's about to cause you to cut off low vibrational people in your life. And you're about to be the phoenix rising from the ashes in that energy to do it. That's really beautiful, Aquarius. Um, that's really beautiful. Psychic investigative headhunting is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Psychic investigative headhunting is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So you, um, you plug in and how it resonates. I got that in Taurus's reading too. Um, I feel for some, you could be the recruiter because I did a reading on psychic investigative headhunting. I feel for some, you could be the recruiter about to um, recruit some psychic investigators. Um, I'm feeling for the FBI, but it really could be for anybody. Or you could be a psychic investigator about to be recruited. And if you are the psychic investigator about to be recruited, that could be the Phoenix Rising from the Ashes. 
because that reading I did was a wonderful reading, but whoever is about to get offered this opportunity, the FBI basically already knows um, these people, and it's several of them. It's like X-Men, X-Women of 2022 style people, supernatural abilities, supernatural gifts, and they know your skills, talents, abilities, and gifts are real, and they and they the people have proven it to the recruiter or recruiters or headhunters in the universe. Um, so if you were one of the ones that's about to be recruited by the FBI, Aquarius, I heard it's going to pay freaking a phenomenal. I mean, like really well. So it's going to be a boost in finances and your career and I'm sure your confidence, <clears throat> if that resonates for you. For some, I feel you could be the recruiter, but you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. That's really beautiful, man. And that's just the truth. Okay. Wreath sorrow. Oh, sorry. Energy. Energy manipulation is about to backfire in a huge way. For some, a Libra's trying to energy manipulate you. For some, you tr were trying to energy manipulate someone else. Energy manipulation is about to backfire in a huge way. For one of you guys, a Libra has um, was trying to heavily manipulate your energy. It's about to backfire. For one, you were trying to heavily manipulate someone else's energy, and it's about to backfire. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you high vibrational? Do you go around not trying to dabble in people's energy and fuck with people's energy, and um, you you stay in your lane and keep your energetic space intact or you low vibrational and try to dabble in people's energy and fuck up people's energy. I'm not sure. Only you know your story and anybody else. Okay. But I will say the people that try that dabble in people's energy and fuck up people's energy. That's obviously dark arts there, obviously, because um, high vibrational beings don't do that to people. They have no reason to do that to people. They have their own positive energy that people love to be around. And that's just the damn truth. So high vibrational beings have no reason to manipulate and dabble and stir the pot energetically to other people's energy. So who, whatever Aquarius was trying is trying to is trying or was trying to dabble in somebody's energy, you're obviously a low vibrational being. Your cloak is about to be ripped off. Your cloak is about to be ripped off. So low, low vibrational Aquarius that's been da trying to dabble in other people's energy, person or people's energy, your the bitch is about to be ripped off. The false mask is about to be ripped off. And basically, um, you're about to be exposed for the energy manipulator you are, if that resonates for you, Aquarius. But for one, a Libra has been trying to manipulate your energy. And I heard it's about, about to backfire. Now, whoever this Libra is to you and how they resonate, and in that case, the energy manipulator is a hyena energy, energy sucking, energy, trying to energy suck and energy dabble into your energy, Aquarius, whoever this Libra is. They can be masculine or femme Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, North Node behavior, Jupiter chart. You plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're an officer of the law. For one, you're a lawyer. For one, you work in a skilled nursing facility. For one, you're an officer of the law. For one, you're a lawyer. And one, you work at a skilled nursing facility. So um, the one, the Aquarius, where the Libra is trying to dabble in your energy, um, the dark arts Libra here, um, one, you are an officer of the law. One, you, are a, you work in a skilled nursing facility. And one, you are um, a lawyer. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Holy crap. It could be a masculine feminine Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or women, Haven, Jupiter, Charles. But heavy energy work here. Heavy uh, spell work. Energy dabbling. That's dangerous shit. Um, they need to watch Chiron Intuition's reading about um, dabbling in somebody's energy is going to cause somebody freaking death. Um, and that's just the truth. Death spells are real and death spells backfire. Um, I'm not saying this, this person has done death spells because I didn't hear that. But I feel they might have um, on you, possibly Aquarius. Um, this is a very low vibrational, uh, low vibrational Libra. They dabble in dark arts, and I feel they probably have done it for many years. And I'm just being for real. This is not someone I'd want to play around with nor be around. 
Uh, they can keep their dark art shit on their side, and that's just the truth. Whoever this is and how this resonates, okay? Grief, sorrow over a loss. There's about to be a very significant funeral soon in Aquarius's life. And a Leo feminine is about to get invited to a wedding soon. It's about to make you very upset because you will not be there. Okay, I heard there's about to be a very significant funeral in an Aquarius's life soon. And a Leo feminine is about to get invited to the, a wedding soon. And you're going to be pissed off because you're not going to be there? What? What? Why are you going to be pissed off that Leo Femme gets invited to a wedding? Um, be happy for people and let them move on, man. Uh, whoever you are and how you relate to this Leo Femme, you're pulling in heavy Leo Femme energy. Um, it's called moving on, man. If anybody needs to hear that, it's called moving on. And I'm just being for real. Um, what the hell? Um, so one of you guys, you're, uh, there's about to be a funeral in your life. So I feel, you know, this would be like the wreath at the funeral, the flower arrangements, what have you, what have you. But funeral, heavy funeral energy. Um, I feel you're going to attend this funeral or you're going to attend flowers possibly. Um, how this resonates and applies. For one, it's relating to dark arts and you know this. For one, it's relating to dark arts and you know this. So for one of you guys, it's relating to dark arts and you know that it's relating to dark arts. So the death is, uh, well, it might be relating to a death spell or some kind of black magic backfiring, how that resonates. But how that resonates, you are, um, you're going to know that it's relating to um, dark arts. Um, how that resonates. Um, and for one, a Leo fan is about to get invited to a wedding. It's going to piss you off because you're not going to be there with her or be invited to the wedding or what have you, what have you. I don't know. I don't understand that. I feel in living your own life. But, um, I'm a big believer in living your own life. Um, if you can't be happy with yourself, you can't be um, good in a relationship uh, or good for somebody else. I'm not saying you were in a relationship with this Leo Femme, but I just don't understand why you'd be pissed off that you're not at, that why you're not going to be at, with this at the wedding with her or be invited or what have you, what have you. I don't get that. Um, hashtag live your best life. If anybody needs to hear that, my God. A missing ring is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. A missing ring is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So some kind of missing ring. It could be your missing ring or somebody you're connected to's missing ring. But somehow a missing ring is about to become significant in Aquarius's life. Um, however that resonates and applies, Aquarius. Okay. Peacock, beware of great pride. And a home that's not going to be sold. Is about to really piss off an Aquarius, low vibrational Aquarius, but it's about to make a high vibrational Aquarius very happy. Okay, and a home that's not going to be sold is um, going to piss off a low vibrational Aquarius, but make a high vibrational Aquarius happy. So sorrow over loss in this aspect is um, the low vibrational Aquarius uh, wanted some kind of home to be sold, but it's not going to be sold. Um, I think they could have been using some kind of energy manipulation on somebody to try to get this home sold, possibly. Um, or a group, or what have you, what have you. It is about to seriously backfire. In ways this Aquarius would have never thought. It is about to seriously backfire in ways this Aquarius would have never thought. So this home not being sold, this low vibrational Aquarius, uh, didn't, they wanted this home sold. Um, it could be there. I'm assuming it's not their home. I think it's somebody else's home. Because if it's their home, and they could sell it. And they could sell it free and clear. So it's obviously not this low vibrational Aquarius's home. It's somebody else's home. But I think they were using energy work on a group or person or people to try to get this home sold. But it's not their home. It's somebody else's home. It's most certainly somebody else's home. It's most certainly somebody else's home. That's confirmation. So it's most certainly somebody else's home. But for some reason, they want it sold. But it's not their business it's not their business it's not their home 
Um, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on the slow vibration of Aquarius in ways I would have never expected. And on other people. It is about to cause huge negative tower moments here. For everybody that was involved here. It is about to cause huge negative tower moments for everybody that was involved here. So it's about to cause huge negative tower moments for everybody that was involved behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the scenes in the selling of this home that is not this low vibrational Aquarius's. So why the hell they even care? I don't know. But I heard it's going to make a high vibrational Aquarius happy that it's not going to get sold. So maybe it's a high vibrational Aquarius's home that they decide not to sell or somebody else is connected to this high vibrational Aquarius and they decide not to sell this home. But this low vibrational Aquarius they were behind the scenes working with other people to basically get somebody else's home sold. It's not even their home. I heard it wasn't their home. But it's about to backfire on this low vibrational Aquarius that worked behind the scenes with all these other people to try to get this home sold to somebody else's. And everybody behind the scenes that was working together to do this. And I heard it's going to backfire in a huge way. So um, you, you plug it in how it resonates. I believe in staying in your lane. Whoever this low vibrational Aquarius is, they do not believe in staying in their lane, apparently. And that's just a damn truth. But I heard it's going to make a high vibrational Aquarius happy. So it's either a high vibrational Aquarius is home, they decide not to sell, or it's a high vibrational Aquarius um, that is connected to the person that decided not to sell their home. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, sir or ma'am, in the Aquariuses. Are you high vibrational in this category? Are you low, low vibrational in this category? Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do fit. But this, I mean, this person is staying in their damn lane. And I'm just being for real. Peacock, beware of great pride. A low vibrational Aquarius is about to ever regret getting involved with a Gemini masculine. Ever regret it. And one of these Gemini masculines is about to be jailed soon. Serious investigation, no bond when this happens, and it's going to cause huge problems for him. Huge. Okay, so a low vibrational Aquarius is about to ever regret getting involved with a low vibrational Gemini masculine. One of these Gemini masculines, I heard, is about to be jailed soon through many series of chain events. No bond and no bail when it happens, it sounds like. And I heard he's going to experience huge um, legal issues when it does occur. Um, this low vibrational Aquarius is going to ever regret getting involved with him. Whoever this per this person has a bad person picture. Um, these people don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, but this person, they've done something very criminal. I didn't hear what the hell they've done, but they've done something very criminal. So much so, they're about to end up in jail soon with no bond or no bail. And um, it's uh, it sounds like they're under a heavy investigation or they're about to be. And it's about to create huge negative legal issues for this person. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. We have high vibrational Aquarius energy in here and low vibrational. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? This is deep. <clears throat> CPS is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Some you're about to call CPS. For some, you're about to get an unexpected call from CPS on a family member. CPS is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Um, Child Protective Services, for anybody who doesn't know what CPS means. Um, for one, you are going to call CPS. So you're going to make the Child Protective Service report um, Aquarius, I feel you're high vibrational if that resonates for you, or at least I hope you are. Um, because you know, some people ab abuse CPS, they abuse CPS and they abuse the police. Trust me, I know my ex husband is the world's worst of that shit, and that's just the truth. That's the truth. But hopefully, you are high vibrational, is what I'm saying. Hopefully, you're high vibrational and um. You use the CPS reporting system, Child Protective Ser Service reporting system, in a positive way, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and hopefully, it's a, a substantial report, is what I'm hoping. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? That's for one of you guys. You're about to call Child Protective Service and make a substantial report, is what I'm feeling. For one, you have evidence. For one, you have evidence. So, for one, you have evidence, um, if that resonates, okay? 
One you may not, but one you do. Um, and for one, you are about to get involved with CPS, Child Protective Services, but it's because a family member is about to get Child Protective Services caught on them. So somehow you're about to get involved with Child Protective Services because your family member is about to get Child Protective Services called on them, um, Aquarius. You plug it in how it resonates, Lord. But for, well, for one, you could be the one about to call Child Protective Services on your family member and that's how you get involved, possibly. I'm not, you plug it in how it resonates, man. Peacock, beware of great pride. Unpaid taxes are about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. Unpaid taxes are about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. And a countersuit is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. Unpaid taxes and a countersuit is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. So unpaid taxes, so that could be you that um, has not paid taxes either state or federal or what have you, what have you taxes or any other kind of taxes. It could be business taxes um, on a business possibly um, or not. Um, I mean, any kind of taxes. Um, I'm just trying to think of what I'm trying to think in my life. Um, business taxes or state taxes or federal taxes or what have you, what have you. Um, some kind of unpaid taxes, whether it's a business tax or taxes or state taxes or federal taxes or what have you, what have you some kind of unpaid taxes, whether you haven't paid them or someone you're connected to hasn't, about to become very significant in your life, Aquarius. Um, and for one, uh, what was the other one? There was something else. Oh, a countersuit, a countersuit. So a countersuit. So there sounds like there's a lawsuit or going to be a lawsuit, and then there's going to be a countersuit. Or some kind of, yeah, I heard a countersuit. So let's look this up. So I think that's a count, like countering to a lawsuit. We're going to look up countersuit. I heard a countersuit. A, a counter, okay. An opposing lawsuit. A countersuit is an opposing lawsuit via Google.com. Okay. So a count. What does counter? What does countersuit mean? An opposing lawsuit. So an opposing lawsuit. So somebody places a lawsuit and then somebody else counters with an opposing lawsuit. So an opposing lawsuit, especially a claim asserted by an opposing party in a lawsuit, such as a defendant against the party bringing the original lawsuit, such as plaintiff. Counterclaim decided to file a lawsuit against her accuser. The current appeal results from a patent, uh, a patent infringement suit and countersuit. That's the example. So a countersuit is basically an opposing lawsuit. So however that resonates, um, in your life, Aquarius. Uh, for some, you could be um, you could be sued, and um, you're doing the um, countersuit, um, possibly, or someone is suing you, and I mean, sorry, someone's suing you, and you're doing the countersuit, or um, you're suing somebody, and somebody's doing the countersuit, or somebody you're connected to is countersuing. How that resonates applies. For some, I feel you could be working the legal sector, and you're working on this countersuit. Um, or helping with it if you work in the legal sector, possibly. Or you can know somebody that's about to file this countersuit on somebody. But it sounds like somebody wants to, uh, is, wants to sue somebody or they're going to sue somebody, but they're going to countersuit is what it sounds like here. Um, beware of great pride. I think somebody is, one of you guys is prideful. Maybe I feel maybe for one, you're getting sued is what I'm feeling. 
I didn't hear you were. I just intuitively feel one of you guys you are and you're about to counter sue. Um, you're prideful that maybe you're getting sued. Maybe. Or maybe you, I didn't hear that. Um, possibly. Because uh, you have to be, beware of great pride. For one, it is someone connected to you, someone in your past. For one, you're currently connected to them. For one, it's someone in your past. They are about to counter sue somebody. It's about to shock you. Okay. Um, and for one of you guys, it's somebody you're currently energetically connected to. For one, it's somebody in your past. I heard they're going to counter sue somebody. And I heard it's going to um, shock the hell out of you. So, um, I don't think you expected this. I think you were prideful and you never thought it was going to happen, maybe. Or you, I don't, for some, you may be involved in this. For some, you may not. For some, you could be on the legal team in this. How this resonates? Um, yikes. For one, a dissolval of a contract is about to become very significant. You do not want any more trouble. And you are intuitive, intuitively right on this because that will this will cause a lawsuit if you continue. The dissolval of a contract is about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. I heard, um, <clears throat> I heard, um, you know, uh, you know, this is basically the right route because if you don't, it's going to cause a lawsuit. Um, and I heard intuitively be right. It will cause a lawsuit. Um, so I think against you, um, I think you are prideful of this. It's some kind of contract energy. Um, but it sounds like, um, it doesn't sound like this is a legal, a legal contract or false contract energy. This sounds like this is actually, um, people that, could have been in this contract if they wanted to be, um, not like against their will or forceful or something of that nature. But, um, but, um, I heard dissolve all this contract is a, is, is a smart thing to do because you know, it will cause a, a lawsuit if basically you continue on with it. Um, and I heard you're right. It will. So, uh, whoever that's for some kind of contract energy, dissolve of a contract energy, um, it sounds like a current contract in the universe, um, dissolve all of it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you, okay? For one, a Taurus masculine is about to deliver very important information to a fire sign feminine. For one, you want this to happen. For one, you don't. Okay, for one of you guys, a Taurus masculine is about to deliver very important information to a fire sign femme. For one, you want this to happen. And for one, you don't. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heavy Leo energy. Heavy Leo energy. So heavy Leo energy, fire sign femme energy. For one of you guys, you want this Taurus masculine to deliver this information to this fire sign femme. Heavy Leo. For some, you don't. You got heavy Leo fem energy in here and Pisces fem energy and um, other signs. But you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A Scorpio has been holding, 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 holding on to you. Through many series of chain of events, you're about to let this person go. Very low, vibra low vibrational. A Scorpio has been holding, holding, holding on to you through a very low vibrational Scorpio. Uh, it can be masculine fem Scorpio. I heard through many series of chain of events, you're about to let this person go. So you're about to block them out of your energy, block them out of your phone, block them out of your life is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. They don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, or integrity. They can have Scorpio in any aspects of their chart and they're low, low vibrational. I heard you're about to let them go. Um, if that resonates for you. Um, I think they're the hyena energy here is what I think. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. And that could be sorrow of a loss too. I think you're going to be sorrowful. 
Um, there's a reason you've been holding on to this person. And I think you've had great pride holding on to this person. But there's a reason you're about to let them go. Um, and I think it's because they've been sucking your energy or sucking your time. Or they could be a black magic wielder for some of them. They're not benefiting you. Um, I heard they've just been latching on, like latching on to you. Because it reminds me of like a an infant that pulls on their mama's coattail, shirt tail, um, shirt, um, dragging them around the house. That's what this kind of reminds me of. And you have the energy card, so I think they might have been sucking your energy like an energy vampire, this low vibrational Scorpio. But you plug it in how it resonates. For some, they've been doing it through sex. For some, they've been doing it through sex. So for some, okay, so they've been sharing your energy, sucking your energy through sex. So you've been sexually connected to them. Um, that's for at least one of you guys. Um, but you're about to let them go. For some, it's not sex related. For some, it is. So energy sharing through sex. All right, well, I'm getting out of here. I love you guys. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. And namaste.